I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Jane Goodall. I take three fingers at the top, underneath I put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw an oval. So I draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect on the left, curve line out, curve line in, connect on the right. I take one finger and down here towards the right I put another dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line up, in, out, and down. Come back to the dot. We're going to draw a big curve line up, over, and connect. On the left-hand side, we draw a curve line out, in, connect. And on the right-hand side, we draw a curve line out, in, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to just mimic that line. Curve line in, curve line out, connect. Okay? Now I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down. And I'm going to take one finger, let's do two fingers, and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy line up. Go back to the dot, wavy line down. Come back to the top, draw a curve line over, connect, come down to the bottom, curve line over, and leave it floating. Okay. I come back over here on the right hand side and I draw a curve line down off the page, come inside and draw a curve line, curve line down, off the page. Okay. Come inside, draw one baby circle two baby circles, put a curve line inside on the left, curve line inside on the right. I'm going to color these in so I know where I'm looking. Right underneath, I draw a curve line out, up, connect on the left, curve line down, up, connect on the right. I'm going to color these in so I don't forget. And then right below, I'm just going to draw a big curve line. Okay? Now I come over here to this space and the first thing I'm going to do is draw a little straight line up at the top and I'm going to draw a curve line down, connect on the left, come back up to this uh, straight line, curve line down, connect on the left. I'm going to draw a little wavy, wavy, wavy line in I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, but I'm going to leave it floating. I come back to the top and I'm just going to draw a skinny mini curve line down on the right, little curve line down on the right again. Okay? I come right in and I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Okay? Come inside and draw one curved line on the left, one curved line on the right. Right down below, draw a curved line, curved line, connect on the left, curved line, curved line, connect on the right. Put a curved line inside on the left, curved line inside on the right. I'm going to color these in so I can see where I am looking. Okay? Right in the center, I just draw a straight diagonal, curve line in, and leave that floating, and then a big curve line, little curve line on the right, little curve line on the left. Okay, now I can take this line and I'm going to draw little slightly curved line, straight line down off the page. I can do this floating line back in, connect, and I'm going to draw a straight line right here off the page. 
Now I come back over here and I just draw a little curve line down, connect, okay? I'm going to come back up and I am going to see if that's everything. I think maybe that is. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color in is my chimp, my baby chimp. And I have gray, so I'm just going to color in the face gray. And I'm going to color in the top part of his hand gray. We're going to blend that in just a minute. But this should all be gray. If you don't have gray, you can use a light brown. Or if you have multicultural crayons, you can use one of those. Now I come in with my brown and I do this section brown. I'm going to do my body brown. I'm going to blend my brown into my gray for my hand. And I'm going to do this section brown. And again, if you have different color crayons that are skin tones, fur tones, you can use those. Okay? Next, Jane, I have skin tone, so I'm going to do her neck one color. This is apricot. These are her ears. This is her face. So I'm going to do, just so she doesn't look so white. If you don't have face color, you can use a pink. Give her little pink cheeks. But mainly, I just kind of want to make her a little bit different color than the paper. Next, I take my yellow and we'll do her hair. This is an earlier Jane. She's got gray hair now, but we'll give her the blondish look. Okay, so we give her yellow. And then, she is from England, so I'm going to give her a garden look. So I did green and pink striped shirt. Okay? Now, very famous for living in the jungle with the chimps. So I'm just going to take my green crayon and I'm just going to do loop-de-loops all around for the background, top and bottom, so that she looks like she's in the jungle with her chimps. Okay? You can make that as thick and as dark as you want, but let's put some green in the background. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Here's Jane, all colored in. Very famous scientist, went out into the wild to live with the chimpanzees. Okay, bye-bye.